Hello everyone and welcome to another nail art tutorial and also a contest entry for uh, Lana Licious and her um, inspirations contest and this nail art was um, inspired by um, three wonderful girls here on YouTube uh, mainly I have a cupcake configure uh, 1973 and love for nails and I'm gonna explain uh, what was inspired by whom and so here on the ring finger there is a different design right and it was inspired by both configure uh, 1973 and by I have a cup a cupcake because uh, you'll see how it's done uh, I have a cupcake is wonderful with the nail art brush and I tried to do something it was really easy but I tried because she inspires me so much in in this category and mm, the rhinestones are configures uh, love for bling and everything that's sparkly and pretty now on the rest of the nails mm, we've got a fading effect and a uh, dragonfly which is inspired by love for nails because one of the first videos I've, I've seen here on YouTube was her um, dragonfly design uh, and uh, it was from uh, her that I've learned how to do this uh, sponge fading effect, which I love so much. Uh, I know you, you're probably sick of it, but uh, <laughs> I love it. So th these are my inspirations. And now I'm going to show you uh, how to do this design. So um, I've already did the fading effect uh, by uh, using uh, four uh, different colors. And I used the sponge technique technique and so you, you generally know how to do it. And the ring finger I've painted with this uh, sheer minty color. Uh, and what we need now is this dark emerald green color and we are going to drop uh, it onto a piece of paper and uh, take our uh, nail art brush and we are going to create uh, this well, I don't know even how to call it. It's kind of a, like a zipper, maybe? Yeah. So, you see, I'm not really good with a nail art brush. And, quite frankly, my brush is, is crappy. <laughs> so, but well, these are just two curved, that's the beginning, right? Two curved uh, lines, like that. Mm -hmm. And mm, of course, just fill it in, right? So that's. I know it's. It probably for most of you it seems easy, but um, well, I had problems with with doing it, and well, I had to redo it a few times. Actually, I know I'm um, well, not as talented as. <laughs> as my uh, inspirations are but still I try yeah so basically I think we've got it and it looks like this and now we need a, a light green uh, stripe polish and we're going to make three curved lines coming from the uh, inside of this mm, zipper kind of thing we've just done. So the first one you yeah, know they're actually quite random you know yeah okay so we've got three curved uh, lines. Now let them uh, let the design sit for a bit and we are going to continue with the butterfly, uh, with the dragonfly. And we need a mm, purple nail art polish. And we're going to start from the top. And I'm not cleaning my brush mm, because I want uh, the well head of this dragonfly to be big, bigger, right? And just like this. And so, I don't know. I think they're tentacles. <laughs> yeah, so just two small lines. 
uh, where the head is for the, the tentacles. Okay, now um, we'll let it sit for a bit and dry. And now I'm going to take a pink um, polish and again I'm going to dip uh, to put some of it uh, on a piece of paper and take my dotting tool and I'm going to uh, place three dots at the ends of those uh, curved lines we've just done. Yeah, okay. And now, before it dries, I'm going to take my rhinestone wheel and um, uh, in the place um, of each uh, of the dots, I'm going to place a pink um, pink rhinestone, if I can just pick it. So exactly where the dot is, the wet, still wet dot is, a pink rhinestone. And, you know, uh, press it a bit so that it stays where it's supposed to stay. Oops. Okay, and the third one. Yeah, so that's how it looks. And now back to uh, the um, dragonfly, dark green. Nail out polish for the uh, for the wings. So just you know follow my steps. It's got two sets, right? Oh, double wings. So the, the upper one is bigger and the lower one is smaller. So it just basically looks like a V a bit. Except it's not ideally made. Yeah, okay. And the lower one. Okay, guys. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you, Lalo, for this wonderful contest. I think it's a great theme for it. Uh, and, well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And please keep on watching.